What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Yeah. Welcome to Mother's the Day show. edition. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the to show. That's it. That's it. That's that's the show, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. Gu guess what, guys? Guess what day it is? We got mommy in the car. I know you see a new new surprise uh, surprise guest, guest here. Allowed me to be on the show too. We're here. It's Mother's Day. She's looking beautiful. It's a beautiful day. We got all the kids in the car. It's me. It's mommy. Where's number one? Right here. All right. Where's number two? Right here. All right. You know it's Bella. You know it's Bella. You know it's Bella. I like that. That's a nice. That's a nice show. You know it's Bella. You know it's Bella. You know it's Bella. You Listen, know it's Bella. and we got number three. Where's number three? Oh, hey, Danny. Where's number four? Oh yeah. Yes, I love it. I have to get her a talking up. She's always on here. Oh yes. Y'all already. So you know it's Bella. Michaela makes magic. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. We're on our route. We're on our normal route. This looks like we're going to school. It's just sunnier. We got all the all the family, the whole family in the car. And it's a different show. So we're going to do a little different format. It will not be the same format. Although, you know what? The format is natural, so it might actually go right back into that. Um, what we got going on today? Where are we headed, Kay? You know. <laughs> they <did. laughs> well, well, one, you know what? The one thing is about suburban square is that it's, it's ice cream. Like, and it, and it, it kill ruin your life. And, um, <laughs> All right. um, and there's also lifetime where you can get a break from your kids. Yeah. That's what they think of lifetime. I thought it was awesome. No, we don't want to break from our kids. We just do you want to? You can't. <laughs> can we work out with you in the gym? I mean, let's start there. The kids are listen. The reason, the reason. The re I wanted to do this show. That's right. That's right. Kind of like when we last time I think we had a break was at the gala. Yes. But we were still back that night. But we didn't see. Uh, we didn't see Michaela's game. Um, you know what I love about where we live, guys? We go the same way everywhere. I don't think about it. Um, it's a different show today because the kids are very excited, but they also aren't playing their normal roles, guys. Hi, I need my co-host. Are you playing? Are you in the show? Oh yeah, I'm the show. See, they're, they're, this is what this is. What, this is what happens when um, you know they they want to show off for mommy and they're happy and they're excited. It's Sunday. But um, they gotta remember, we are on the show. Uh, guys, leave in the comments below if you think the uh, co-host didn't come to the show today. I did! Hit it, hit, hit, hit it zero in the comments if they- Hit uh, a seven! <laughs> hit a seven! Smash a zero, guys, if they no, did not show, show up. Baby. Yeah, uh, hit a seven too! All right, all right, see. Um, Anyway, as per usual, by the time we get to the bridge, it's my show anyway, so I'm just going to continue on. Continue! So, then you're the co-host. Oh. Don't smash that zero, baby. <laughs> yeah, don't smash it! Right. Since it's your show, since it's your show, too! Alright, alright, settle it up. <laughs> um, where are we at here? So we headed out to Suburban Square. Probably go to Kilwins and get these kids some ice cream. Settle down. Let's do it. Um, Kendra Scott. All right, Ooh. we're gonna go to Kendra Scott and get some, mo get mommy some jewelry, yeah. all the kids, kids present. <laughs> um, you know, we we love we love Suburban Square, we love Ardmore. Uh, we we just love how uh, Birdhouse Rockstar Show turns into a fashion show when we get uh, mommy in the building. All right, jewels, the bracelets. Show up, just tell the show to camera. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get that out. Try to find them for you, but I 
Well, if you're thinking about price, these aren't for you. These aren't for you. They're, they're not for you because you're going to not, you're not gonna buy them. The if way you I need them, them, go buy them. We'll I put the link. Them. They're Gucci. They're All right. Um, the thing is, they are beautiful. I love the fact that you don't pull them out that often. They only come out like one special occasion. Special occasion. And you got some pretty fly glasses that you wear every day. So. I know. I've got you know, my Tom Ford, so they're like my staple. I yes. to work every single day. They look like cat eyes, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I like them. Those are like my favorite <laughs> ever. And then I have my. You got the uh, Rag and Bones. Rag and Bones. The ones I have on that. There. You know what guys, actually see, this is how you have to think of life too. The cleaning lady is worth it in the sense that that happens. The fact that they found the glasses makes Amazing. makes it worth it. She finds so many things, my shoes. And they clean while they're doing it. <laughs> they clean while they're looking for stuff. They find out like 16 remotes. <laughs> bottles, we found bottles. Gift cards. Gift cards, I they mean, literally. found six gift cards under the girls. Listen, what if like, they sold their cares? service like, differently? No. Listen, what if you marketed a helping yeah. service to cleaning babies? Yes. And told them, what if you sold it the other way? Say, we look for stuff in your house and we clean when we got it. Whoa. Wow. The things that you have not been able to find. <laughs> I'm going to find them. And I'm going to continue them. to do it. And it's always such time. a pleasant surprise because what I love about Shay and the Domestic Diva shout out is they do it okay. so lovely. Like, right? Like, they always put it in a really nice spot that makes sense. We've had, we've been through, uh, listen, I could do a whole course on finding the right cleaning service. I don't know. But, you know, my, my other service would, like, put them in, like, a shoe. You'd be like, where should it not be? Where Shay puts it, like, in a perfect spot where I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, I just found, like, a big like, glass. Which you would never find. And think of the time you save. I'm telling you, I'm actually put a course together. Mini course coming soon. Talking to cleaning ladies, cleaning people, cleaning companies. Okay? On how to sell your service. What about that? Even if you didn't, that's not, that's a, that doesn't have to be all your marketing. But what if you told people you look for things, you find their lost things while I clean? I'd be like, y'all pay you for that. It's cheap. But anyway, I digress. Um, what a way to start Mother's Day. Finding your glasses. Mm -hmm. Alright, all the kids look good. They look good. Look at them. Mm -hmm. They all the same. So all the girls are the same. I know. I love it. I think Donnie my mama looks great. Heart, heart smile. Like, my kids are magical. Oh. Just love it. Love it. Everything. Like, just know. Like, I know if you're a mama, you understand this. And, like, I'm going to want them to know magic. And we have twins, so it's a reason. We have a total reason to do this. Um, I mean, we, our reason is, is enough, but the fact that we have twins is total car blanche to match. We should actually, you know what? All six of us can match because we have twins. Start with the twins and make it what you want to know. So um, cute. Again, I think the girls are so And Gap kids, shout out to Gap kids, makes it so easy. I wouldn't necessarily, but I would like it when she bought it and came home with it. I'm like, oh, this is actually it. neat. But I would never buy it, but I I don't mind the gap. I grew up with the gap. I park outside the gap. It's in our square. You know? And um, if it's in the square, I think it's for me. I, I trust that. I really do. I 
it's like, um, wow, what a day. I'm glad today is today and yesterday was yesterday because yesterday was kind of like hit or miss, kind of messy. Not me it wasn't messy though, that's the other thing. It wasn't messy, it was just, it wasn't, it, yeah, it was just. It wasn't today. It wasn't today. Which I was all for. I was excited that I went to Taylor Swift concert. Oh, yeah. Can we talk about Taylor for a minute? Wow, so, okay. let me talk about Taylor. What so, was yours? I have grown up with Taylor. With most millennials grew up with Taylor. With Taylor. I'd say from like 26 ish to like 40, we grew up with Taylor. And we went through all her different albums, all her different phases, all her different iterations. Okay, but I took it back to like Fearless, okay? Fearless, yo, if you know, you know, okay? I sung my heart out all night long. I knew every song. Every song brought a special memory for me because I feel like she has traveled with me through all of my chapters of life as well. And all of her love songs reminded me of my husband. And I was just so excited because I remember singing like Love Story for it as an example came out when I was, I think, maybe 24. I remember I was like, Riding up and down the turnpike to go to New York. And I remember thinking, like, oh my gosh, one day this is gonna be my love story. And so yeah. So it was amazing. It was so emotional. I've been to every single Beyonce concert. Like every single one. Every single one. So I'm like a concert girl, but like I know what a good concert is like. And you had a good way of putting it. Like Beyonce is an awesome performer. Like you will be entertained. You will be like, oh my gosh, like my mouth is open the whole time. My feet hurt from dancing. Like she certainly puts on a wonderful, excellent show that like like no other. Taylor sings to you and like hits your soul like you are in a coffee shop like this close from her. Like I, I don't know how she does it. Like we had presidential club seats, it was amazing. My friend Monica like gifted them to me. It was wonderful. We had a great time. And I felt like it was just me and Taylor and like a few of my closest Walter. friends. Like Walter. that's how amazing, Walter. that's how amazing her voice was. So just saying that right now, I feel like Taylor is the go for singing. Like if you want to go and have an experience that literally gives you goosebumps and like you cry and you laugh and you dance, this is the experience for you. Like it was just life changing life-changing never seen her in concert i would not have seen her this time had it not been for monica because as much as i wanted to see her the tickets were somewhat outrageous and i just was like i can't do it well thanks taylor for first of all for the great show gotta say thank you taylor and um Pennsylvania, thank you kanye west for making this moment possible because if it weren't for you maybe taylor wouldn't be this big and, and and, and they wouldn't be here. Thank you, Monica, for the tickets, first of all. Thank you, Monica. And guess what? I want to talk about Mother's Day weekend because guess what? Kat had a great weekend, guys. So you're looking at someone that's that's fresh on, I even say off of, but fresh on a weekend that's just going up from here, so which awesome. is hard to top. I mean, it Taylor, is. and then they Kicked went to the Logan with the girls. With the girls. Go ahead, tell about your weekend. So my... I have started a tradition. So for my mamas that are like, I don't know what to do on Mother's Day, right? Because like Mother's Day, I feel like always hits us like in the face. It's like, oh my gosh, like, mm -hmm. right? We're calling it may -sember because I feel like May is becoming like December. <laughs> it really Where you are like running, it. but like you don't have like Christmas. Where like you get to like culminate No, everything. really, it's just, should, you are running. That's it's may real. Like, no, it's, it's It feels like Mother's Day just comes up and just. It literally hits you in the face. You're like, oh, okay. So I decided that because I have four kids, that I have the authority to do whatever the hell I want. Right, because I, mean, I feel like once you have like four kids, you're just like it can be it can be, it can be Catherine Day. Right? Like really, it really could just be Catherine Day. I may remarket it. But I decided that I want to have a tradition where my girls, so I have three girls, where my girls and I go on a girls weekend Mother's Day, right? And it could just be at night, it could be a weekend, it'll certainly evolve as they get older. And so this this week, this year we decided to kick it off. It was just me. Michaela and Isabella, because of course our Olivia is a little too young for this right now. But when she gets older, she was, she was yeah, when she gets older and isn't as much of a you know chimpanzee, then we'll bring her. Chim to. But we did a rabbit. girls' night. She's rabbit too. She's a rabbit. <laughs> and we did it right here in Philadelphia. We stayed at the Logan Hotel, which is right on the Parkway. We got a room. We swam. We went to dinner at Urban Fire Pharma. We watched the game. Which the game comes on today. Go Sixers game seven. Go. And That's next topic actually. Stay I was like, oh my gosh, like. This is amazing. And so now 
I've created a cheat sheet for my wonderful husband to say, which God bless him, he's got four girls, to say, going forward, this is something that you can treat us to, right? We'll say, like, maybe next year we'll go to D.C. And see, when men, they get older, tuned. maybe we'll go listen, to Paris. Listen, men. We will go to Paris. Listen, stay tuned, create a community. Listen, here you go. Listen, this is the cheat sheet because that takes the pressure off you. Thank you, Taylor. Thanks, Anna. See, it takes the pressure off you, right? Look, thank you, Taylor. Thank you, girls. girls. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, all the friends who made this possible because, look, you now can start setting up situations where you make a retreat-type style weekend for your wife. And you get to benefit from that because you get a respite, too. Everyone's happy. Your wife's happy. She's rejuvenated. She gets to spend time with her girls. And then she gets, and Taylor just happened to be in town, which is great, which makes even makes the weekend even better. It's amazing. And then May, you can usually count on a great day. If it's not, guess what? You're gonna have next year. Today, look, we're going up to Suburban Square. We're gonna finish the weekend off at Kendra Scott. Finish the weekend off at Lulu and Dan Dan. I mean, it really doesn't get much better. This is this is shaping up to be an awesome, perfect day, perfect and weekend. And you brought up a good point. This is really the first Mother's Day post pandemic. Oh yeah. Because yes. I feel like even though it's like the pandemic years, just guys. ended, like officially the public health emergency, I work in healthcare, right? So that's the official term. Just ended, and so it's been yeah, yeah. four years. Four years, years, if you think. Like you think about the last Mother's Day, just right. so happened the pandemic started right before Mother's Day. So right. now we're talking about 2019 was the last, you know. I mean, 2020 we were Mother's like Day. down in like the bunker. Oh yeah, yeah. 2020 we were still watching. Talking still about two gloves. weeks to stop the spread. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 we were living our best life though because like well we you know, would tw uh, thank we god for the like, pandemic you would we like, wouldn't be glowing like, like this page, you will see that we won 2020 and then we got uh, the twins that's and right 21 so right around the same time we started the, and then 22 we had the twins i'm telling you so look we decided that it's time to be back outside, outside. and um you booked you know you got the logan set up and Everything, the, the, the facials, the room service, the pool, so good. the Franklin Institute. And wait until they get older. See, that's the thing. This will evolve because it's like, and it's really just about, it's not about fancy amenities, right? It's just about, and that's why we kept it to our city. Our city is beautiful and I'm all about celebrating our city and, and teaching our girls and our boy how to enjoy your city and how to grow your city. But it's really just about taking that time, like a respite to be together, to reconnect, to talk about all the things. We have girl talk. We talk about, you know, which boys we liked in school and all things, you know, and it's their time that they feel like they have this to themselves because again, I am a mama of four. And so most of our days are dominated by all four of them, but in different ways, right? They never really just get me to themselves, right? And that's why I find these times so sacred. And, you know, I was telling Don that, like, it's great for Father's Day, too. Like, Donnie, he and Donnie can start the tradition for Father's Day. And there's a great way to connect with the kids in a way that they will remember forever. Like, I know I would have remembered that forever had I been going on, like, yearly retreats with my mom, my mother's really. And we're grateful to be able to do it. Great, great. Yeah, wow. What a what a what a way to celebrate, especially as you got three girls in our family, so it totally can become an institution, you know, um, in the sense of what is so culturally based in our family that you know, and then when they have children, whether they're girls or boys, you still have a strong sense of tradition and um, family just building connecting points for for you to have each year so we're pulling in so we're going to close the show down now guys we're pulling into suburban square it seems to be very much packed which mm -hmm. is cool because um that's what we want that's what that's what this is it's really this community is so awesome um we love it here in lower marion and um Happy Mother's Day, Kat. And we are. And to all the moms. Thank you, Bella. Yes. Kendra Scott, we gotta go get some good. Yeah, I want some coffee. First Cohen's, then coffee, then Kendra. Hello. 
Yeah. Ready? All right. All right, guys. Listen. <laughs> Alright, it's time to kill us. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye.